Welcome to our tutorial of quick surface. In this tutorial we will learn how to align the mesh in space and why it is important and why it's needed. After we know that we can import meshes, it's very important during the reconstruction of a cut model to place the object in the best way for this reconstruction. In this example I loaded a part which is uh, just in space. Some of the scanner they have uh, abilities to align the object and it, uh, the scan data may come directly properly oriented but some of them don't have such tools and they just give you a watertight uh, mesh which floats in space like this one. What I mean by floating in space is that if we take a look at the world coordinate system now we see that the object is not aligned. Probably the best would be if this is plane lies at the bottom and this is a kind of a the z-axis goes through the um, axis of the cylinder and all this stuff is important because later we can create a relation between the primitives, create the parametric in the right way. Quick surface offers two ways of aligning the object. One is just the interactive way where you can just enter into the align mesh and you can just put it on the screen the way you see it and then you say align its current view. As you see now the software automatically took the viewport and created the, um, the coordinate system in the way we see it. So if we take a look now this is a vertical and uh, I'll just rotate 90 degrees and you see that this is nearly the bottom so let's take a look at the top view if I want to rotate the view around the z-axis of the screen you just take the mouse at the corner and you rotate it and you just place it like this and then you say align as current view if you press it again it just takes the center and put it here in some cases if we uh, have a freeform surface in order to rotate slightly around an axis we can use the manual approach if we in this case if we take a look at the global z axis we can rotate the object by one degree or ten degrees or even less let's say 0 0.5 degrees and if i press the arrow it just rotates in one direction and then if i press the arrow it rotates the other direction in such a way visually we can fine-tune our object and align it in the right way. Also, we may need to offset and move the object so we can make a fine-tuning. The software transforms the mesh. And when we are happy visually, and then we can press close and then we can start our modeling. This is the interactive way of how we, we can align the object in the screen. I would say that this is okay for some purposes, but if you want to make a correct cut models, this is not enough. The other, the more accurate and more correct way of aligning an object in space is by using the primitives. So let's try to do this now quickly. We can just take and define our plane at the bottom as a primitive this is our plane then we can just unselect with the mesh selection we get the cylinder we extract this cylinder press ok and also now i'll just get another one which is the side one right click actually i'll get a plane not a cylinder so now once we have these three primitives it's good to hide over it's good to think a little bit about this part when you do the alignment which one is actually more important do we want to make sure that our cylinder is 100 percent through the z-axis or it's our plane that lies at the bottom why i say this is that when we fit this plane in cylinder, although they, they look okay, even if we make compare with a certain accuracy, they can never be perfectly perpendicular. So 
in this case we need to compromise and we need to make an incremental alignment what I mean by this is that when I go to align mesh I may say the following just make sure now put this object in such a way that the axis of the cylinder is exactly through the z-axis in this case our object is aligned now but the only condition we have is that the axis of the cylinder is through the z-axis in this case our plane at the bottom may not be actually perpendicular because it's the best fit through the point so now if I tell the software that please take the object and put it in such a way that it goes to the bottom then now it is the plane is the priority so currently it took everything and put it in such a way that the plane is actually lying at the bottom but this may twist a little bit the cylinder and as I can demonstrate this to you if I edit the cylinder if we take a look at the direction you see that it's not perfectly aligned to the z-axis so that's why we can go back again and set which one is the, uh, the priority in this case I can press the z-axis one interesting fact is that now it is aligned but if I press again it actually flips the whole model and put it in a different or in the opposite orientation I just unselect this so you can see better for example if I play with the bottom plane if I place it at the bottom it's perfectly aligned to the bottom but if I press the button again it actually flips pressing again it flips again so let's take a look at the top view now the only condition we have is that the plane is lies on this um, XY plane but the cylinder is not so one option for example if we want to keep this constraint is the following we can just go to the cylinder edit the cylinder and now I can reconstruct my cylinder so it doesn't have this direction but it's uh, perpendicular to the bottom plane in this case now what we achieve that this uh, cylinder is parallel to the z-axis but it doesn't mean that the axis goes through it so I can go to the align mesh and then I can tell can place the object in such a way that it goes through the z-axis I have press it again it will flip currently I got the two conditions so I'm sure that this uh, lies correctly and I can go to the last plane before I press a line based on this plane I can just go and edit this plane and say you go through these points but make sure that when you reconstruct when you go through this point that you are perpendicular perpendicular to the bottom plane in such a way now it's a perfectly aligned and now I can easily go to the aligned primitive and say use my plane one and put it on the left so now I just align the object in a different way I just align it like this so I can currently if I want to keep this parallelism I can just take the cylinder and place it the right way so in such a way my object is uh, correctly aligned I can use this primitive so I can delete them and I can start using and rebuild my object correctly.